In this lesson, you will learn how to keep dogs safe in hot weather. You will learn about flat-faced dogs and why they cannot handle hot weather. How to use a hot weather chart. We'll talk about the temperature differences between asphalt, white concrete, and green grass on a hot day. We'll also show you an easy trick for determining if a surface is too hot for a dog's paws. In hot weather, a normal walk for a human can be extremely exhausting for a dog. When the weather is very hot, dogs still need to go outside. However, it is important to take extra safety precautions when the weather is less than ideal. Although the dogs may love the walk, they won't tell you if you're pushing them too hard. When I first started dog walking, I was guilty of pushing dogs too far without really realizing it. I thought, well, dog walking is my job, and dog walking is what we do. It just didn't seem right to cut a dog's walk short. In reality, the dogs would have been fine, and in some cases relieved, to get a shorter walk with indoor playtime to finish out the visit. In hot weather, watch for excessive panting, tired, droopy eyes, the dog's tongue being wide at the bottom, a rapid heart rate, a dog lifting up their paws, and even vomiting. These are signs the dog is in need of a break, some water, relaxing in the shade, indoor playtime, or even medical attention. It is important not to stray too far from the home in excessively hot weather. Carrying water and sticking to the shade on walks is also important for the safety of the dog. Understanding the specific breed, age, and other limitations of the pup in your care is essential, and these are outlined in detail in the hot weather chart section we'll talk about later. If you see a dog slowly lifting up their paws, make your way to the client's home right away. If the dog is small, pick the dog up. A dog lifting their paws means that the pads of their paws are starting to hurt. This could also be a sign that they are beginning to overheat. While dogs have sweat glands on their paws, it is not efficient enough to cool them off on a hot day. A dog's paws can blister, peel, and be severely damaged by walking on a surface that's too hot. Remain vigilant and ensure you are not putting a dog in danger by walking on a surface that's too hot. Some people think a dog's paws can withstand extreme weather, but that is simply not the case. One of the most important things for any dog walker or pet sitter to know is that flat-faced dog breeds such as pugs, boxers, and French bulldogs cannot tolerate heat, especially during exercise. Walking too far with these types of dogs is extremely dangerous in hot weather and may even be life-threatening. Flat-faced dogs have difficulty breathing and cannot pant efficiently. This is because their snouts have been bred to be shorter, which causes the nostrils to be smaller, the muzzle and airways to be shorter, and does not allow the dog to intake air efficiently. Since the parts that make up the dog's airway are pushed closer together, they tend to have constricted airways and cannot cool themselves off. The technical term for dogs with a shortened snout is brachycephalic, but I like to refer to these types of dogs as flat-faced because I think it's easier to remember. Let's go through a list of common flat-faced breeds and show pictures of each breed so you can recognize them when out in the field. There's the French Bulldog, the Bulldog, a Pug, Boxer, Cavalier, King Charles Spaniel, Shih Tzu, Boston Terrier, Affenpincher, Brussels Griffon, Dog de Bordeaux, Japanese Shin, Lhasa Apso, Pekingese, Chow Chow, and Rottweiler. 
To determine the risk level the weather poses in a certain situation, I really like using these hot and cold weather charts to get an idea of what is too hot or what is too cold for a dog based on the size and age of the dog, factors that can increase health risks, factors that can decrease the risk, and the outdoor temperature. These charts were originally provided by Pet Plan Pet Insurance, but we added a few items we've learned based on our experience. You can download the hot weather and cold weather chart by clicking on a link in the description below. Let's take a look at the charts and cover how to use them. Both the hot weather and cold weather charts work in the same way. This section shows the level of risk on a scale of one to five, one being no risk and five being a potentially life-threatening situation where you should avoid prolonged outdoor activity. The next section shows the risk level based on temperature and size of the dog. Small breed, which generally means weighing around 20 pounds or less, medium breed, which is generally between 20 and 60 pounds, and large breed, which is any dog weighing over 60 pounds. The last section shows various factors that can increase or decrease risk and how many points to add or subtract from the danger level. Be sure to include all of the factors and add or subtract points for a totaled sum. For example, if a dog is both obese and brachycephalic, you would add two points to the danger level. Let's take a few moments to talk about how various surfaces can greatly vary in temperature on a hot day. Specifically, black asphalt, white concrete, and green grass. I took my temperature gun outside on an 80 degree Fahrenheit day. I found that black asphalt was 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees hotter than the outside temperature. White concrete was 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees hotter than the outside temperature, and green grass was 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 degrees cooler than the outside temperature. 120 degrees is really hot for any prolonged contact with a dog's paw. Be careful when walking a dog across black asphalt and quickly scoot across if you absolutely must cross. I recommend avoiding black asphalt on hot days and sticking to green grass or shaded sidewalks. A dog's paws can be blistered and damaged from heat, causing serious pain and immobility. If you need to cross a street that is made of black asphalt or white concrete, be sure to test the temperature. An easy way to see if a surface will be too hot for a dog's paws is the 10 second rule. If it is safe to do so, be careful of traffic when testing busy roads. Reach down and place your palm on the hot concrete or asphalt. If you can't keep your hand on the pavement for at least 10 seconds, that surface is too hot and look for an alternative route. 